Hey, YouTuber. So, um, we're going to make a spear. This is uh, Lesson 10, I believe. In case you haven't done this before, there's actually some uh, tricks to doing it. And I uh, want to make sure that you understand those so that you can create your own spears. Uh, then we will we'll add a little appearance or texture to it. Um, paint job we'll call it because it's not really texture if it doesn't have uh, you know some kind of abnormalities to the, the surface um, then we uh, will shell it as well so probably shell it and then add appearance to it and um, I'll change the visual style at the end so you can you can see that it was indeed shelled all right so let's get started I'm going to go to file new and collect new part And then we're going to do a, before we do revolve, we're going to create an axis. Um, and we want to do it through the intersection of two planes. So I'm just going to come over here. Uh, I want that one. And I want this guy. So I have my axes. And this is a work axis. So when we're going to go into revolve again, uh, create 2D sketch. We're going to sketch on our XY plane. And we are going to select center point arc. And I'm going to sketch this. And hopefully I put it right on those lines. Right click, OK. Now, uh, the question is, is this all I need to do? Of course not. Uh, need to add a dimension to it and we'll make this uh, half inch radius or basically one inch diameter and now have we done enough at this point that's a good question um, I'm gonna leave that up to you to find out in a second so just so you can learn we're gonna say finish sketch then I'm gonna come over to revolve again and I want to, it's asking me to select the axes. We're going to select the axes. And right now it's on surface. We don't want surface because surface doesn't really have any volume. Um, click on solid. Then it's going to ask us to select the profile. Oh, no closed valid, no valid closed regions could be generated for the profile selected. So you'll find some softwares will allow you to have these open um, profiles and you can revolve it, but Autodesk Inventor does not allow it. So I'm going to cancel out. Now we've got to go back to our sketch. We're going to edit it. We're going to close this out. So we're just going to add a line and make sure we're at the uh, intersection there of the plane and the radius. And right click. And um, all we need is the one dimension for this. So now I'm going to click Finish Sketch. I'm going to click Revolve again. We're on Solid. It's on Full. Now we're going to look at the bottom left. It's asking us to select the axes. We'll select that. And now we have a nice Solid. So from here I can go ahead and select OK. All right. So now we're going to shell this out. Click on the shell button. Comes up with a couple things. One, we're not going to be able to remove any surfaces because or faces because we only have one face. We'll go ahead and keep the thickness at 0.1 inch, and we'll click OK. So there's a few ways you could verify that you actually have shelled this out. Um, one is to cut a hole through it, and you would see um, that it now has an inner area, inner volume there that's open. Um, but the simplest way to double check that is to go to view and change this so we can see hidden lines. Um, do shaded with hidden lines. So there you go. You now have shelled it. I'll go back to uh, realistic. And let's make this thing look like a beach ball. Let's add uh, some color to it. So we're going to go to tools, appearances, and I'm going to select this surface. And we'll just go over these and see which one we like the best. Wow, that's pretty cool, actually. Um, 
There's a lot of cool things here. I actually kind of like that. So we're going to take this and drag it up here. And then I'm going to right mouse click on it, sign to selection, and close that out. And now I have my beach ball. All right, so that's all there was to this lesson. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.